Hi everyone, it's uh, Nat here. I guess I'll just talk about the video immediately. Um, basically, this is me trying to work out for the first time. I'm probably going to struggle. It's probably going to suck. I found basically just like a, a set of circuits that you can do. I'm going to be doing the easiest one, which is a 15 minute full body workout. Literally just means activities that, you know, are probably more for your core and everything sort of deal. Um, nothing that is targeted, you know, like nothing where it's like, oh, arm day, leg day. None of that. It's really simple. It's basically just push-ups, sit-ups, and squats repeatedly. Um, I'm doing this, you know, to try to improve my strength. So hopefully it works. I figure I can't go running or anything yet because the weather outside where I am is awful and horrible and terrible and I don't have treadmills so I'm not going to be running inside so until then I can always just try something else and this is going to be my something else. Uh, for now I'm basically just going to be trying to work in I guess at officially working out once a week to see if I can maintain that and then if I can I'll you know, move on from there. I do get a fair amount of physical activity just from uh, certain aspects of my job as well as the fact that I walk almost everywhere, so that helps me, but um, this is now me trying to, you know, make working this into my life more official and less of a just when I do it sort of thing. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. It does say that I should stretch beforehand. I have no formal idea of what I'm going to be doing for stretching. I'm probably just going to pull things from when I was active when I was younger. Uh, so if I'm doing everything wrong, let me know. Let me know what to do right. That'd be cool. Yeah, um, let's get started. Uh, so, I guess, like the intro kind of described, uh, originally I was basically just going to be showing me trying a um, muscle building, I guess, uh, circuit, but the video was actually like really terrible, the angle was really bad, you couldn't really see very much uh, because I couldn't get out far enough to actually show it. I can give you a little clip to show you what that looks like. Yeah, so the whole video was filmed at that, like, terrible angle. Um, I will try again at some point to make it better, but I'm probably not going to be doing it uh, for another week. Kind of like I said, I'm going to be trying this uh, circuit once a week and then seeing if I can sustain that and then working it in to do it more often. But for now, just once a week. So it is now the next day um, for me doing that general impressions, my arms are sore, my core is okay, my inner thighs are a little bit sore from uh, the squats and stuff I'm guessing, but I feel perfectly fine. Like I don't definitely don't feel like it kicked my ass, but at the same time like it did it does hurt the next day, mostly because I'm really out of shape. Giant surprise. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty good about it. We'll see again if I can kind of keep this up and sustain it just at least until I can start running outside. I mean, generally speaking, this is would be a good thing for me to just incorporate 
forever uh, as good practice and because like really even if just cardio works for you why not do other things I mean you know why not try to be a little bit stronger have an easier time with certain things so it's only good I guess as far as I'm concerned the only problem is that I hate working out so again 15 minutes once a week is probably probably all I'm ever going to do, but that's doable for me and I'm okay with that. Yeah, um, otherwise I guess from the weigh-in video and generally this week I've been doing really well, I've been feeling really good, I am staying on track, so that's nice. Um, I mean, I'm getting to the point where I'm probably going to be about due for new clothes. Some of the pants that I bought, like I just bought, you know, cheap pants to hold me over so that they look acceptable for me to go to work, uh, but they're starting to get a little bit looser than they were before, so at some point it's for sure going to be time to replace those, but I think I've got at least a good month on them before they start getting a little too silly looking. Uh, I did buy workout clothes, and they are smaller sizes than I'm used to, so that feels really nice. I have some clothes that I saved from when I was a lower weight that I'm starting to fit into again, so I have those kind of, I guess, on the stoosh uh, for when I need them, but a lot of them are summer-specific clothes, and right now where I am, which is Canada, by the way, it's pretty much still winter, so not going to be wearing little thin cotton dresses, plus I wouldn't wear those to my job anyway. Uh, for what it's worth, I have a science-related job. I'm a medical laboratory technologist, so I work in a lab. Uh, so generally speaking, little flimsy dresses aren't great for safety. Uh, for example, spilling acid on a little dress, I'm gonna get half of it on my legs. Not that we spill acid regularly, I'm not suggesting that at all, but it's more just from a safety standpoint. If I am more covered, I have less of a likelihood of hurting myself versus ruining an article of clothing, for example. So a lot of that stuff isn't necessarily work appropriate. I'll have to be updating work wardrobes as I go, I guess. But uh, as it stands for now, I have a minimal number of outfits or clothing that I just kind of cycle through pretty much once a week. I think all of my coworkers know, you know, oh, it must be Tuesday, she's wearing this. But whatever, it works. They already know that I'm in the process of doing stuff and they're very kind and supportive actually, so it's been really nice and I, I, I honestly have no complaints about that. So it's cool. Uh, on that topic, I actually had a really interesting conversation with one of my coworkers, I guess, that I can bring up. Um, she's from India, random exposition here. She was actually asking me about the meal plan that I was following and how much, talking about how much she would appreciate having a meal plan to follow, but how hard it actually is for her to find one that I guess is specific to Indians. So, you know, has Indian food, because why wouldn't you want to eat the food that you have eaten forever? Um, and she had mentioned how, I guess, she was looking for a dietitian, but then had to explain to them what she eats specifically and how, you know, there are ingredients and stuff that she uses that we don't use in Canada and they just weren't really as familiar with the, you know, nutrients and stuff of those items compared to something that's from here. And I don't know, like, I couldn't really offer her any advice. I mean, I am vegetarian, and that kind of helps, but she does have some further religious dietary restrictions that are beyond what's in my meal plan. Um, and yeah, it was just really interesting to kind of think of that aspect of it, of, you know, I'm, I guess, like, stock white lady number 15, and so for me, following a 
North American meal plan, like, yeah, you know, my meal plan, for example, has parsnips in it. I have easy access to parsnips. I know exactly what those are. I have eaten those before. But, you know, for her, finding a meal plan that has dal in it or, I don't know, alu gobi or something, like, I don't know, vindaloo, I mean, she wouldn't eat that, but you know what I mean. Like, what is out there for her, I guess. And I kind of tried looking in English and I couldn't find anything. And I just, I don't know, I guess the only easy resource that she would have would be to try to look in Hindi for something. I have no idea, but that super sucks because she's kind of isolated, obviously. I mean, she lives in Canada. It's not like there are a whole bunch of government resources for her to help her on meal planning something like this. I, it just sucks. Makes me feel kind of lucky, I guess, that it was so easy for me to basically just find a meal plan and be like, oh yeah, that, that fits with things that I would eat. You know, I eat apples, I eat oranges all the time. Like, that works. That's in my meal plan. And it's easy for me, but it would be hard for her. Even more so because I have no children, um, and she does. And so then also working that into it, my God, like people with kids or spouses who don't want to eat on your meal plan or I guess diet, whatever it is that you're doing, like I feel really terrible for you because what do you do? Like, God, that sucks. Anyway, neither here nor there, I guess. Um, but yeah interesting things to think about and talk about. I, I don't know, like, have you, do you have any issues that you've run into with trying to find and stick to something that works, uh, that might be influenced maybe by your culture or by your living situation? Let me know. That'd be cool to talk about, I think. Um, anyway, back to me, uh, because I'm full of myself, I guess, obviously. You have to be a little bit full of yourself, I figure, to film videos for YouTube. Uh, yeah, this week has been really, really good. I've been going on a lot of walks. The weather is getting much nicer. I mean, it's still cold. Like, for reference, cold is, like, minus 20 Celsius. Uh, I'll include the Fahrenheit. But, um, like, that's doable for me. Like, I can put on a jacket and go outside. Which, ooh, speaking of jackets, I do have a jacket that I kept from about... Oh, it's been a long time, seven years ago now, uh, that I fit into again, so I was able to throw that out. It's a little winter, like, wool jacket, you know, one of those fancy things that you don't wear when you're shoveling snow or anything, but you might wear to a function. It's red, I love it, and I fit into it again, so I am super excited about that to the point that I, it just makes me want to go places. So now I've been going on walks with my little red jacket, and, uh... Yeah, I went for a walk to a garden center and picked up a succulent or two, and uh, we just wanted to buy them and try them out. We have two cats. One of them doesn't seem to care that much about plants and is generally okay with leaving them alone. The other one is... I mean, she eats spinach, so a little more of an unknown as far as plants are concerned and she did try to go after the succulent and eat it like just eat the leaves so we have to hide it from her but uh yeah i guess a good indication that i'm not going to be one of those ladies just with plants everywhere because if a cat can get there a plant can't go there but yeah bought a succulent that's pretty cute uh just for me you know going out for walks and feeling good about myself so that's awesome got got a little plant um yeah, so it is the 17th as of this filming. My birthday is in eight days. Probably won't do anything too crazy to celebrate. I mean, I am still trying to strictly adhere to my meal plan that I've got going on, so I don't think I'm going to be having cake or anything crazy like that, uh, but I might have a chocolate bar. We'll see. I'll let you know if I do. Happy birthday to me. Um, and yeah, feeling pretty good. And again, sorry about the workout video. I will try to get something going on. I mean, really, it's kind of embarrassing anyway, because ultimately all that you would really see is just like me cringily struggling, like super cringy struggling for about 15 minutes. Like literally it was to the point where at the end of that, it was just me 
slowly doing the sit up being like, oh my God, this hurts. And the sit-ups and push-ups are a lot more difficult for me. The squats are fairly easy because I do have pretty good leg strength, but my upper body strength and my core body strength is awful. So try to improve that as I go. But yeah, I mean, I was struggling. Like at the start, I was struggling with the push-ups. So fun. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, maybe you'd find it amusing to watch me struggle. I can certainly film it, maybe put it to, like, some horror music, we'll do a horror movie edit, that might be fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, hope everybody's week is going well, uh, I hope everything is great with you, if you are struggling to lose weight, if you are succeeding at losing weight, if you are achieving all of your goals and everything like that, like, great job, keep it up for the next week, and if you're struggling with it, like, don't worry, we'll do better, just one day at a time, right? So you screwed up yesterday, don't worry about it, start again today, move on, just keep going. And yeah, good luck everybody, I'll see you later.